Hey, Hawthorne Bears, it's time for another Esta Mystery. Go ahead and get your number detective hats on and we'll get going. As always, I want to thank Steve White Borney for uh, creating these presentations. You can find more of his puzzles at www.stevewhiteborney.com. Uh, you can also find them on my website, www.mrpythemathguy.com, or you can go to our specialist site. So this one is called Length of Ribbon. It's designed for second grade or third grade, although first and fourth might also enjoy these. Um, so let's go ahead. We, you see here, we have a red ribbon. What I want you to do is in inches, how long would you estimate that ribbon to be if it was fully straightened out? So how long do you, how many inches do you think that ribbon is? So go ahead and look at it. And what I want you to do is go ahead and write down your estimate. Or if you don't have a pen, go ahead and tell somebody else in the room how long you think that ribbon is. Um, then we're going to go through some clues. And then as we get more, more and more clues, we can fine tune our estimates to get the correct answer. All right, do you have your estimate written down? Let's go. So we have five clues this time. The first clue is the answer is between 25 and 40. So the, it, that means it's between 25 and 40 inches long. So I did a number chart to 60 here. Now, if it's between 25 and 40, that means it can't be 25 and it can't be 40 because it's got to be in between those numbers. So we're going to go ahead and cross out. Sorry, um, I made a mistake there. So I should have crossed out 40 because as we said, it's got to be between 25 and 40 and I left 40 open. So even math teachers make mistakes. But go ahead and take a look at that. If we um, eliminated your estimate, go ahead and fine tune your estimate and uh, pick a new number. All right, do you have your new estimate? Great. Now I want you to go through and cross out the missing numbers. So it starts a pattern for us, 18, 21, 24. Let's take a look at the number chart, see if we can notice a pattern there. So we would cross out 18, 21, 24. What do you notice about those? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if, you were, if we were skip counting by threes, that would be part of the pattern. Look, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So we just need to skip count by threes and cross out those numbers. Now in third and fourth grade, you'll learn that those are multiples of three, meaning three times something. So we should cross out anything that's a multiple of three or skip count by three. So we went 18, 21, 24. So one, two, three. So we'd cross out 27, one, two, three. We'd cross out 30, 33, 36, and 39. Let's go ahead and cross those out. And remember 40 is crossed out as well. So, did we just cross out your number? If so, that's okay. Let's go ahead and just fine tune your estimate. Go ahead and write down your new estimate as mathematicians. As we get more information, we fine tune our answers. Okay, let's look at our third clue. The answer is an even number. It's an even number. That means we should cross off numbers that aren't even. And what do we call numbers that aren't even? That's right, we call them odd numbers. So what is an even number? An even number means that you can split a number of items equally between two people. So four items, four is an even number because if you gave two people two items each, that'd be four. Five would be odd because if you, get, if you try to split that between two, each person would get two and you'd have one left over. So it can't be split equally. So we should cross out any of the odd numbers and odd numbers end in a one, three, five, seven, 
or nine. So let's go ahead and cross out our odd numbers. And that just leaves our even numbers, which end in a two, four, six, eight, or zero. In this case, remember 40 should be crossed out. So if we cross out your number, go ahead and uh, fine tune your estimate and write down your new estimate. All right, let's go on to clue four. The answer does not include the digit eight. So what we should do is look at any number that has an eight in the tens column or in the ones column. Now, since our list only goes up to 60, we're not gonna have any eights in the 10 column because those numbers would be 80s. So which are the numbers that have an eight in them in the ones column? Yeah, it's this column right here, 8, 18, 28, 38. So we should cross those out. All right, it is time for our final clue. The answer is not made, or the answer is not equal to the number of cents made by two dimes, two nickels, and two pennies. So if you were to add up two dimes, two nickels, and two pennies, how much money would you have? How many cents would you have? Well, let's take a look. So it's gonna be 32, 34, or 26. Remember, 40 is crossed out. So how much is a dime? That's right, a dime is 10 cents. And how much is a nickel? Yep, a nickel is five cents. And how much is a penny? That's right, one cent. So if we had two dimes, two nickels, and two pennies, that would mean we'd have two tens, two fives, and two ones. So let's add that up. And we can even use this to kind of help us. So here's one ten, add a second ten, we're at 20. Now we've got to add the two nickels. So 20 plus five is 25. And then 25 plus five is 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now we've got to add those two pennies, 31, 32. So it can't be 32. So let's go ahead and cross 32 out. Excellent. That means really there's only two numbers left because we crossed out 40, 26 or 34. So I want you to go ahead and look at that ribbon again. And it's either 26 or 34 inches long. Take a look and put down your final guess. And if there's somebody in the room with you, I want you to explain why you chose that number. Why did you choose 26 or why did you choose 34? And I'll go ahead and give you 15 seconds to do that. Okay. Let's find out the answer. Is it 26 or 34? Here we go. The answer, 26 inches long. Did you get it right? If so, great job. If not, it's okay. We go ahead, we go through this to practice, to fine tune our estimation skills. So keep practicing. I'll have some more of these uh, put up on the website on Friday. Until then, I hope you guys have a great week. Sure miss seeing you in the school. Uh, take care.